In the last video, we left off where we were doing some stitch welding on the roof after doing the chop. Now, since then, we finished welded everything. We laid a coat of primer just to seal the roof up. We're ready to take on the next part of the project, and that's fitting the door frame back into the new lower door opening. As you can see, this is going to be a lot like the top. We're going to have to take some height out of the pieces, split it in half, and then add some width just to get everything to wind back up again. Now I'm going to be using a hacksaw to make my cuts because I don't want something as violent as a reciprocating saw or even a cutoff grinder. So I'm going to fit this up, make my marks, and we'll come back when we have everything fitted and ready to weld. Everybody, we just got done making all the cuts for the height here and then splitting everything in half and you can see the gap that we're working with. This is the piece. This is why you want to keep your extra bits laying around. We cut that out of the front portion here and it's a, it's a pretty close fit as you can see right in here. So now that we've got this piece cut, we're going to be using the TIG 200 DC. It's great for steel fabrication and also TIG welds are a little softer than MIG welds so they're easier to grind. So when we're blending all our welds at all these different seams, we're not putting quite as much heat into it as if we were grinding MIG welds. So I'm going to trim this piece up a little bit more, get everything sitting how I want, we'll lay a few tack welds and then we're going to seam weld everything and we'll come back and show you what everything looks like when we're all set and done. After a bit of welding with the TIG 200 DC on the front side of the door, I went ahead and used the MIG 175 to weld up the back part of the seams. Now that everything was welded, I then could grind everything and blend the seams in with an angle grinder and a flat disc. Now that the door is pretty much structurally complete, I can go ahead and just fine tune any of these gaps here that are uneven from cutting off the drip rails. A little later on, we'll tackle getting shorter glass cut for both the doors and also the front windshield. But for right now, we have a lot bigger things that we need to take care of on Project Pilehouse. If you missed any of the chop process or any other projects we've been doing on Pilehouse, make sure you check out our YouTube channel and also our blog for weekly updates. Now get out there and build something.